Parents who didn't tell their so why they named their child after somebody. What is your secret? My uncle wanted to name his kids after Star Wars characters. My aunt flat out refused. My cousins names are Ben and Luke. It's treason, then. He should have named them the Senate and the Senate. My mother used to complain that her father had named her Irene after the song Goodnight Irene. That's what her parents always told her, and she just really hated it for some reason. When my grandpa was in his 80s I told him that my mom hates her name because of that and he just said, Oh that was a joke. She's named after my aunt. Didn't I tell her? Oops. My dad told me I was named after an actor. My mom's reaction was no you weren't. You were named after a child I worked with in the cancer ward. Knowing my dad, he probably knew this and just forgot. Or just never thought to ask why my mom picked my name. My dad planned out to have 5 children that have the first letters in order from eldest to the youngest that spells out any RDS so if we ever said something to him he'd say shut up you nerds. I was almost named Richard James, after my grandfathers. My dad decided I had to be named after him and his grandfather instead though. I'll never forgive him. I could have been Rick James. Comma I could have been Rick James. B. F T F Y. My dad convinced my mom to give me the middle name I have today. Turns out it is his high school sweetheart's middle name. My parents got divorced when I was 4 and my dad has been happily married to this HS sweetheart for years now. Don't particularly love it, but now I know where my namesake is from. Not a parent or and so, but when I was 10 my auntie told me she was having twins and asked what she should name them. And of course being a 10 year old girl I said Zack and Cody she liked Zack but not Cody and now my cousin is 11 and still doesn't know he was named after a stupid Disney show. Or the fact that a 10 year old named him. My parents never found out my gender before I was born and was convinced I was going to be a boy, so they had a boy's name picked out. Well when I popped out, they were like, oh crap. According to my dad, my mum looked up in a drug daze and asked the midwife what her first name was. My mum then responds okay, we'll use that, and that is how I got my name. Named after literally the first person my mum saw after I was born. Thankfully the midwife had a nice name. I like the idea that the woman who helped delivering you into this world was her or that way. What the heck is up with people naming their children after their ex-lovers? That's like half the replies in this thread. Some people really can't get over their past flings I guess. Yeah I find this so weird. My mum wanted to call me Zoe but my dad stopped her as Zoe was his ex-girlfriend's name. Which seems like a far more logical response than most of these. We chose our son's middle name to honor my grandfather then about 3 years later I discovered my grandpa had set up a secret camera in his bathroom to catch my wife undressing. Basically, my son doesn't even know he has a great grandpa, let alone that he was named after him. Whoa, that's just messed up. Had a high school history teacher tell us about a month after his third child was born that he was in terrible trouble with his wife. His name was Ford White and his kids were Taylor, Madison and Jackson. Our names very similar. Apparently it wasn't until their newborn was officially named, and from our understanding, the last kid they wanted. Did he tell his wife how excited he was to have four presidents in the White House? That is the ultimate dad joke. He was playing the long game there. I lived a very sheltered homeschooled life. I lived in the rural Midwest. So I rarely had opportunities to make friends. I went into chat rooms sometimes and I made friends with a guy my age who helped me develop social skills from talking on the phone, late 90s, and he also helped me control my anxiety and depression. I don't know where he is now, but I named my son after him. My son was a bit of a surprise, not in the traditional sense, but he was adopted. Our adoption agency called us one summer morning and told us that there was a baby boy born at the hospital and his birthman wanted to place him for adoption. We agreed to the adoption and rushed to the hospital to meet him. We had to come up with a name and we both rattled off a bunch. I suggested a lot of superhero names because I like superheroes and because our son was born with a heart defect. I thought a superhero name would suit him. My wife shot most of them down until I suggested Logan. She was like, I like it and it's not after a superhero. Let's go with Logan. I waited a long time to tell her about Wolverine. And yes, 
I know it isn't his real name. She was a little mad. The name kind of blew up in popularity after that. He'll be 13 this summer, but I still like it and thinks it's a cool name. The best way you should have revealed was to take her out to see Logan. No matter what my mom says, my brother is named Tom, because I recommended it, as I love Tom and Jerry as a 6 year old. My ex lover named his daughter after me, we had a fling, but I broke it off when he confessed he was married and his wife was pregnant. It was not an open marriage, we work in a similar industry, so imagine my surprise when he brought his daughter into a staff reunion a couple years later and introduced her as, my name. The other staff laughed and joked, hey, that's the same name as Fink's cat, ha ha ha, yeah. That's actually creepy. My dad didn't tell my mom he named me after a little girl he used to babysit that was enamored with him and died of cancer before she turned 13. I'm realizing now I was about 13 when he told me because it was just after my parents divorced. Jeez, dad. That's actually very sweet. My geography prof named his kid after Archer, the Marvel character. I swear to god I had something for this. Apparently, my father talked my mother into naming her only daughter Earth Angel, after some leggy woman he met in Montreal when he was 18. She told me, and I asked him, on his deathbed, why he named me this, and he got really weird. I said mom already told me, I just want you to say it, I really want to understand what this name means, and why you named me this, he never gave me a reason. On the plus side, most people ask me if my parents named me after Beyonce's sister, even though I think I'm 2 years older than her. Not me, but a college friend was named Donna. Everyone assumed she was named after her father, Don. Turns out that Din had a girlfriend in high school he was still hung up on years later. Girlfriend's name was Donna, a little too cutesy, but it also blew up the parents' marriage. My dad named me after a girl he had a crush on in high school but for whatever reason my mom was totally cool with it. Mine is kinda opposite. I was named after my father. I am the fourth in a row. My mother wanted to name me after her high school sweetheart. My great grandfather's dying wish when mom was pregnant with me was that the name continues. She decided to honor his request. Ironic thing is my father split when I was 4. Mom ended up with the man I originally was supposed to be named after 40 years later. Reading this thread has shown me that this is really really common. Till if you name your kid after an old GFBF, you're going to split up. When I was 6 or 7 I was staying with my aunt during the summer. She was pregnant but they didn't know if it was going to be a girl or a boy yet. They were brainstorming names and I came up with Ariel if it was a girl or Eric if it was a boy. Yes, I had just watched Little Mermaid, unbeknownst to my aunt. So, yeah, my cousin is named after the prince in Little Mermaid. My daughter was named after another man my ex shacked up with for a few years and then broke it off with him. A fact my ex regularly reminds me of to try and hurt me. So yeah I would have rather gone on believing she was named after me. We don't have a kid yet but me and my husband were discussing possible baby names. He says a boy has to have an A name, as it's a family tradition. I say unders. He says what? Number. That's that Dragon Age character you like so dang much. Pick something else. I'm not naming my kid after a video game. Hum. Okay. How about Alistair? We can call him Al. It's kinda classic. Hum. I like it. Yeah, Alistair. What's it for Mo? Just a name I always liked. Alistair is also a Dragon Age character, just one he doesn't know about it. Guy I work with named Alistair goes by Alfie. I named my little brother. He's named after MG friend's dog. My parents don't know. Not a parent but my dad told me about it later in life. The day I was born my parents had my first and last name figured out but not my middle name. My first initial is T my last is C. When they were forced by doctors to choose my middle name my dad casually suggested Logan and my mom went with it. My initials are now TLC. Everyone thinks I named my daughter after the Disney princess, Aurora, from Sleeping Beauty. I named her after the Aurora Borealis Australis. It's always been a dream of mine to see them. Doesn't hurt though that in the movie I have the same name as the queen. I didn't even know she had a name until my kid was 5 years old. 
but I suppose it's just a little secret between my daughter and I that she's named after a natural phenomenon. My cousin's actual name is Aurora Borealis. She was conceived under it. I think it's kinda awesome actually. My uncle named his daughter Miraucha after a place in Spain where he cheated on the girl's mother. She never knew. He was a jerk. I've got two. Around 10 years ago my mom got drunk and told MW that I was named after an ex-boyfriend she had who refused to marry her pretty sure my dad was unaware of this. My stepmother had a name very similar to my mom's so changed her name to the same spelling as my mom before she married my dad. The more I think about both situations the more I realize how messed up my family is was. The stepmom one is really fricked up. Sort of the opposite. My daughter's name is Rose. We picked the name and got super attached to it before remembering my sister-in-law's middle name is Rose. She cried and hugged us when we told her the name thanking us for naming our daughter after her. We'll go with it. Explaining to her that we simply like four letter, one syllable names doesn't have the same ring to it. Sort of but not quite what the OP asked for. I inadvertently named my daughter after a character from a game that I love. I wanted an old Scots name for my daughter and after much back and forth we settled on Elspeth. This was in 2000 and several years later a character was introduced to a game I played with the same name. On the birthday after that I introduced my wife to the name from the game and had to convince her that it wasn't a thing when she was born. I was eventually able to prove it to her and she stopped bringing it up. Other Newton, a series by Isabel Carmody, features a main character called Elspeth. Not a kid, but a dog. We got a Keishan puppy several years ago. In case you're not familiar with the breed, Keishans have black, white, and grey fur. When we were discussing names, I suggested Shadow. My wife liked it. One day a couple of years later my daughter asked how Shadow got his name. I answered that he was named for Shadow Fax from the Lord of the Rings. My wife overheard, and gave me the evil eye. I named my dog Wally after my parents next door neighbor. The lady across the street asked me point blank if I named my pup after him. Which I admitted. He doesn't know and as confused as we yell his name in the yard. Our first son was named Jake since we just liked the name. When our second son was born, the wife chose Eddie and I thought ha, huh, dark tower. That's cool. Big fan. Now our third son will be born in a few weeks and randomly she says I've always liked the name Roland. So I internally squee and say to myself it's cars will. Externally I say yeah that's alright I suppose. Just scrolling to see if I can find your wife's response to this thread. I'd never tell my husband, but I'm a huge Dark Tower fan. Creed from the office. So, I'm actually the kid. My dad used to claim that I was named after a fairly famous old school country singer, whose name is only kind of like mine, and who I've never heard my dad listen to. I recently reconnected with my mom, and mentioned it to her at one point. She was very confused. Turns out I was actually named after the woman that introduced me parents in the core. I'll still always be fond of that country singer though. My grandfather didn't get to name all of his children the way he wanted. He wanted to name his youngest son after his favorite comic book character, Flash Gordon, which would have been fine I suppose, had their last name not been Light. Grandma decided that poor Flash Light would never be, and he got a perfectly normal name instead. My parents told me why but it's kind of a depressing story so I don't go around telling people specifics other than I'm named after my aunt but the reason is because while my mom was 7 months pregnant with me, my dad went mental and my mom left the house and went to stay with her family while she contemplated divorcing him. She had a 2 year old and was pregnant with me at the time. My dad never disclosed his mental health history prior to marrying my mom and this was the first time she had to deal with his bipolar illness. My dad was off cheating, spending money recklessly, and being an overall butthole. My aunt was in high school, maybe like 15 stroke 16 years old at the time. She's the youngest of 5 kids and my mom is the oldest. So instead of my mom being 7 months pregnant and sleeping on a couch or on the floor, my aunt gave my mom her bed for however long she stayed there and that's why I'm named after her. Your aunt sounds like a very sweet lady. My ex-wife hated Star Trek. If she was home I wasn't allowed to watch it. 
partially to get back at her and partially cause I like the name I ninja snuck in a Star Trek name for my son's middle name. Fast forward like 3 years and a stranger says, upon hearing his name, just like so and so from Star Trek my wife's size got huge and she started to fine and I knew the jig was up so I just laughed and said yes. I was rolling laughing and as happy and ecstatic as I was she was equally pee off specially since it was way too late to change his name. We're not together anymore and she's not even allowed to see the kids right now. She cooked him in her house with our kids there. Haha, <laughs> Sue, I was the product of this happening. My dad named me after a girl he was infatuated with in high school. His claim was, she was one of the nicest most beautiful girls who stood up for everyone and was just one of those golden beings. My dad was and always has been a total nerd. Anyways, my name is beautiful and unique, and otherwise my mom wanted to make me Dana. Thanks for not letting that happen, dad. You could have been named after a fictional FBI woman instead of a real person. My dad wanted to name me after Star Wars so bad but knew my mom would never go for that reasoning. So he casually started dropping names from the bible until he landed on Luke and made her think it was her idea. My mom says I'm named after the book of Luke. My dad says he wishes he had more time to talk her into Skywalker as my middle name. Big Bruce Campbell fan. Of course calling any of our kids Bruce was out of the question. I was told that before our first son was born. Ash was out of the question. One of the name that made the list for our second son was Samuel, and that was a time where Burn Notice was still on TV. Samuel was about 6 months old when she made the connection that Bruce character in Burn Notice was named Samuel Sam Axe in the show. I love the name Ash for a boy. My ex had a laundry list of names I wasn't allowed for boys, and he demanded we go with Ama for a girl with no exceptions. He disallowed my first male choice, Alex. For no real reason. Banned James because he had a gay cousin with that name. Eventually I got fed up. And when I went to my scan after he cheated on me and broke up with me the same day. I found out it was a boy and didn't tell him so he wouldn't be about letting him pick a name. I casually dropped John into conversation as an option and he didn't mind it. When I was a teenager I was madly in obviously unrequited love with a gay classmate named John. My ex is a raging homophobe. And if he knew his son was named after a gay person he'd flip his lid. It makes me happy to think of how much it would pee him off if he knew, while also being a nice-ish story to tell my son if he ever asks. My granddad's name is Richard Surname. My dad's name is Michael Richard Surname and my name is James Michael Richard Surname. My kid's name is going to be first name James Michael Surname. Obligatory not a parent, but a child. I was raised by my dad and stepmom and didn't really know my real mom until I was a teenager. My grandma always told me I was named after Grace Kelly, which was cool because she was beautiful, elegant, and a real life princess. Years later I find out I was really named after the bar my parents met at, not beautiful or elegant. My uncle did this and almost got away with it. He and most of the rest of my family are huge Manchester United fans. He wanted to name his son after a famous Man U player, past or present, such as Eric, Cantona, Paul, Skulls, Ryan, Giggs, etc. However, his girlfriend is not a football fan and was having none of it. So my uncle got sneaky, this was 2012, and he picked a relatively obscure name and player, Raphael, for his son. After his son was born, we all called him Raphael for the first few months, until his girlfriend happened to walk by a TV where a match was playing. She usually ignores them and heard his name and saw him on the pitch. Now 5 years old, my little cousin goes by his middle name instead. My dad named me after his girlfriend at the time. My dad says mom knew about my namesake. Mom says she did not, until after the fact, and dad was cheating with her. Not sure which is telling the truth. My parents were married and poly but there was still a lot of cheating by both of them so yeah either side of the story is likely lol. In elementary school I had the biggest crush on the cool kid in school. I named everything his name. Every character ever that I had to pick a name for while gaming was his name. I gave my firstborn son his name. BF at the time just thought I really loved the name and I never told anyone. Probably a good thing because the guy's mugshot was just circulating around on FB for scamming people, stealing and begging for money. 
Oh crap that last part sounds like someone from the Washington area, don't know if the guy was popular but we had common friends, but he was begging for money from people he knew friend of friend and eventually everyone caught on. Not me but a guy I met in 8 had an affair with a woman there, he gets out and goes home, gets his fiance pregnant and names his daughter after the woman he had an affair with. I feel bad for his fiance but I've stayed out of it since we weren't really friends and hardly knew each other. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. Bye for now.